hey guys you're welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm going to be taking you guys along with me to the market not literally i'm not going to be vlogging in the market but today i want to share with you how much stuff you can get how much groceries you can get with fifty thousand naira in a nigerian market if you're nigerian then you would be able to understand that the prices of things are actually very ridiculous you can go to the market now and by the time you go back there the next time the prices of things would have definitely changed increased double as a matter of fact so whenever i'm going to the market like this i am always hoping and praying that the amounts that i'm taking to the market would be enough for me to buy something very reasonable so today i'm taking fifty thousand dollars to the market and i just want to share with you guys how much stuff how much groceries i'm going to get with fifty thousand dollars and i'm really hoping that i don't have to withdraw another money when i get to the market that's my prayer okay so i want to so i also like to like take this kind of um paper to the market i write the list of the things i want to buy in an actual paper like this because that's just how i like it i don't like writing my things in a phone and just bringing out my phone in the market and what if they snatch my phone who will i explain to that they've snatched my phone in the market nobody so i like an actual paper like this okay it's not a supermarket it's a local market so it's always very rowdy that is why i prefer this paper okay so i like my things like that so i also like to go to the markets with this kind of bags i've been to the market several times so i have a lot of these bags at home so i like to take like four or five depending on how much stuff i want to get in the market so today i'm going with like four or five four <laughs> because i don't know how much stuff i will be able to get with fifty thousand. i'm just hoping i'm praying um i'm buying a lot of things right but i have a lot of things that not a lot but i have a few things at home okay I have a few things at home so it's not like i'm buying everything in my kitchen today i have a few things at home so let's just see how much groceries i'll be able to buy with fifty thousand dollars today okay so if that sounds like something you might be interested in if you want to see how much you know stuff you can get with fifty thousand dollars in the nigerian market then you definitely want to keep on watching guys so i just got back from the market and i'm so tired like very tired i think i spent like two hours in the market today and honestly speaking i had to withdraw some money again but I, i'm telling you i spent like sixty thousand naira in the market today sixty thousand naira in the market and i'm so tired and whenever i go to the market like that and i come back late towards the evening time i don't want to always think about what to eat like cooking again so i just buy something like meat pie or chicken pie you know and a drink just to munch on and heat so i can be my energy can come back basically yeah so let me take you guys to the kitchen now i will heat relax and take you guys to the kitchen and show you guys what i was able to get the amount has changed now <laughs> to sixty thousand naira because i had to withdraw money i wasn't able to buy everything i wanted to buy with 50k so i had to withdraw extra money so the amount has changed let me take you guys to the kitchen now and show you guys what i was able to get for sixty thousand naira okay so this was everything i was able to get at the market for sixty thousand naira bear in mind that i recorded this video around march april between march and april and you guys are watching it in august and i am doing this voiceover in july ending of july so if i take fifty thousand naira or sixty thousand naira to the market today i would not be able to get this much stuff i would have to add like extra ten thousand naira to be able to get this much stuff again so you guys should bear that in mind that the exchange rate has increased and it's just very ridiculous okay so let's dive right into the things that i was able to get in the market for sixty thousand naira i was able to get two buckets of tomatoes and the buckets i'm talking about is not very big as you can see two buckets of tomatoes actually fit into my own buckets so as you can see Two buckets of tomatoes fit into my own one bucket and then i also got two buckets of red pepper and then i got just one bucket of the long pepper what's the english word for that for that pepper this particular one you are seeing that i'm actually pouring into that bucket i i can't i can't i can't remember all i didn't just google it so all this cost me about ten thousand naira altogether. okay 
and then I got six tubers of yam. This tubers of yam cost me about 3,500 naira, and I really like this particular yam that I got from this particular woman. The ayam is always very good because it lasts long, because I don't eat yam that much, so it lasts really long. That's why I like it. Six tubers of yam, 3,500 naira. I think it's a good deal. I think it's a fair price, okay? So moving on, I also bought rice. But because I had rice at home before, as you can see in this bucket, so I bought just three three bowls of rice. I wanted to say three Congos of rice, but I'm sure not everybody understands what Congo means. So if you understand, if you know the English word for Congo, let me know in the comment section. But just to explain, I bought three bowls of rice and then I poured it into the old rice. And I actually compared both of them to actually confirm that they are of the same type okay and they were of the same time so i just pour them together okay so moving on i also got three bowls of gary i don't really like gary that much but i drink it once in a while and some other time i just you know make a bar with it so i bought three bowls of gary for 1500 naira 500 naira each and i really like the texture of this particular gary just imagine see the way i'm wasting gary in this economy eh my mommy must not see this video <laughs> okay so yeah that's it for the gary i think the next thing i bought let's 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 hold on <laughs> so the next thing i bought is beans i bought beans but i had beans at home already but there were weevils inside it so i had to dispose the beans that was at home before and then i poured the new beans inside this bucket i bought like three bowls of beans as well and i think that cost me about three thousand naira plus okay i bought um palm oil i bought semovita i like that particular brand of palm oil it's called banga i really like it i've not seen another brand that i really like but i really like that one so if you if you've not tasted that one get your hands on it i really like it so this is where i keep all my powdery food substances like semo pound yam and flour and all of that okay and then i bought bread that bread finished in less than three days because it's really sweet I bought whole chicken as well. That whole chicken cost me about 3,800 naira. That bread cost me about 500 naira, okay? So moving on to the next bag that we have. In this bag, I have things like spaghetti, sugar, salt, curry, thyme, and vegetable oil. I bought 12 dozen, sorry, what am I saying? I bought one dozen of spaghetti. Usually, I wouldn't have bought this much because I had spag at home, but because I did not buy noodles this time around, that was why I bought one dozen of spag. I bought salt. I bought one sachet of salt because I had salt at home. I bought two sachets of sugar and I bought this small, small sachet of curry because I had a lot of curry and thyme at home. And this small sachet of maggi, I had maggi at home as well. But because of change, you know, the one color change in the market and they, do not, they don't usually have change. So I just bought this small sachet. And then so I arranged my spaghetti. I brought out the old ones, placed the new ones, and then I just placed the old ones on top of the new ones, if that makes sense. I had a little, a little, or let me say a few noodles at home before, so I didn't buy new noodles because I heard that it's actually not good for the body. That's the reason why I did not buy noodles. So moving on, I had vegetable oil at home before, so I bought two small bottles of the same type of vegetable oil, okay? And then I just added it just to stock it up to make sure that, you know, the house is full. <laughs> And I don't have to worry about anything. So I bought butter, I bought bay leaf, I bought pap. This pap cost me like 500 naira, 10. I bought 10, 500 naira, 15 naira for one. And I really like it because it's just good for breakfast, okay? That's just why I like it, okay? Yeah. Let me know in the comment section if you actually do like taking pap as well. I also bought um, onions. I didn't buy much this time around because I had onions at home before. So I bought these new onions for like 750 naira. Okay. On normal day, I would have bought like 40 pieces, but I bought 25 this time around. I bought insecticide, two insecticide because nobody wants to be joking with malaria. I've, I had malaria last year and I, I'm not about to have malaria again. I bought my sanitary pad. I bought a peak. I bought safeguard. I bought safeguard soap, like bathing soap for the purpose of this, like for the purpose of having visitors if that makes sense if visitors come around and maybe they forget their bathing soap at home they can use this particular one so that's the reason why i bought three safeguard i bought the target as well sunlight and i really like this sunlight detergent because it smells really good and that's basically the reason why i bought it and that's basically the reason why i use sunlight i bought dano milk as well i bought um ginger powdered powdered ginger powdered garlic as well because the raw one stresses me out so i just i just bought the powdered one because usually i go for the raw one and i and then i just grease it myself but i wasn't in the mood on this particular day so i also bought tripe this thing is called tripe right i bought about seven pieces of this one and this cost me one thousand naira 
1,000 naira. This was actually my second time buying tripe ever. And I don't know if it's a good price. I don't know, honestly speaking, I just bought it. So I bought cow skin as well. I bought four. This four cost me 1,000 naira as well. And I can remember the days when we used to buy this thing for 50, 50 naira, when we were like much younger. What am I even saying? About four years ago, this thing was 50, 50 naira. But now look at me buying four for 1,000 naira. I also bought fish. That, those fish cost me 1,000 naira as well. A we do, this cost me 100 naira. Then I bought ugu as well. This ugu cost me 100 naira as well, even though it later spoiled because I didn't attend to it quickly. <laughs> I bought this disposable nylon for my dustbin. I bought liptin. I should have bought milo, but I wanted to change my taste. That's the reason why I bought liptin. And then I bought red meat. My sister has warned me against red meat, but I have coconut egg. I still bought red meat. And this red meat cost me 1,500 naira. And it's about seven, eight pieces or nine pieces there about 1,500 now for the red meat and then I bought mangoes it was mango season when I recorded this video so I bought mango and then I bought one crate of egg one, this crate of egg cost me 2,000 naira I can remember when we used to buy crate of egg for 500 naira just two years ago two years ago when I was serving my country this thing used to be like 500 600 naira but here we are buying this thing for 2,000 naira can you imagine so let me know in the comment section if you think I was able to get a fair deal for you know, all of these things that I bought and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.